Hey, welcome back to Rob's Garage Woodworking. Today we are going to do a product review on the Mastercraft Outdoor Propane Heater. It's a salamander style heater. Um, Mr. Heater also makes uh, a very similar product. And then uh, this is going to be replacing my uh, sunflower style heater, which doesn't have a fan or anything on it. So it's been a good heater, but it's too small for my garage. So I'm going to try this and see if we uh, if it works any better. Right now it is minus 10 degrees Celsius, which is like 15 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's chilly, but not as cold as it has been recently. So it's a little easier to be out here today. But we're going to try it out. We're going to see how long it takes to warm up the garage and uh, just do an overview of the product. All right. All right. So we're hooking up the hose. So you just thread it on by hand first. Then you're going to have to tighten it up. There's a nut on here and then the other nut on the hose. So what you want to do is, uh, in this particular one, it's 11 sixteenths and 3 quarters. So hold it and it's uh, normal threads on this to tighten it. So just make sure that it's good and tight and leave that. And on the regulator end, that goes to the propane tank and that will be a left-handed thread. So it's the op it'll turn the opposite way. So we'll hook that up next. All right, so we've tightened up the gas lines, the propane cylinder, we've plugged it in, we've tested the fan, turn the fan on here, switch on the side here, with the crappy cover, that's kind of annoying. Turn the fan on, and then we should be able to turn the gas on and ignite it. All right, so on this side of the heater, we have the on button for the fan. This is the safety uh, start button. So you have to push that and hold it in to allow the gas to go through until it's heated up. And then on the other side, over here, inconveniently located on the other side, is your sparker to light it up. And you just press that, right? And that'll light her up. So, we're going to turn it on, we're going to open the gas, pull this button, hit the sparker, and make sure that this is on. So let's turn this back on. Fan. Not a lot, but a little. So, 
So overall, uh, so far I'm very happy with it. Uh, I will post an update if any of that changes. So, so far it's two thumbs up for the heater. And uh, yeah, I used my Canadian Tire money to get it for free. I'm really happy about it. And I can't wait to uh, get to work and do some work next. All right, so you learn the downfalls of this pretty quickly. One of the things is it's pretty noisy. Um, and that kind of sucks. It heats up your garage super quick, but then it kind of sucks the oxygen out of the air and it leaves you feeling a little bit lightheaded. So obviously you're supposed to leave a bit of a, an air gap so that some air can get in. But it's surprising how much air you'll want in here. So right now I'm fighting to keep it around 15 degrees Celsius, um, and that seems to be a good balance. 15 degrees, I have the door open uh, a few inches, uh, the garage door, and that uh, seems to let enough air in so it's comfortable and uh, yeah, keeps you from being lightheaded. So noise and the amount of oxygen that sucks up, and probably uh, the amount of propane too. Um, you cannot adjust how much flame comes out of this, right? So, as opposed to like the sunflower one, you can adjust how high you want the heat. This one is on or off, so that kind of sucks. So I don't know if the Mr. Heater ones, if you can regulate that or not, but this one's either on full or not on. So, something to consider when you're purchasing that. Um, you can get the sunflower ones in like a double or a triple, and they also will consume oxygen, but uh, I'm not sure if they consume as much as this. So this one might be reserved for like the coldest days or just warming it up quickly and then switching over to the sunflower, we'll see. Anyway, so happy with it. It's, uh, it's amazing how much heat it puts in, so pretty cool. Or hot, really. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching.